Where in the world is Superwoman today, eh? Mexico! What up everyone, it's a girl, Superwoman! And I'm on vacation! Well, kind of, sort of. Okay, well like, sort of. I'm still like, working, but I'm like, eating a lot of quesadillas and like, drinking a lot of Cosmos. Hola! Okay, I know it's Ola, but I just find it very amusing when people from out of the country try to speak another language and they're like so serious about it. Hola, senor. Uno cerveza, por favor. It's like when people come up to me and they're like, oh my god, I love speaking Indian. Oh my god, I really like that movie, Cooch Cooch Hotahe. And then I had some samosas and ate gulab jamins. If you've ever been on vacation, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you've never been to a resort yet, then let me tell you exactly what goes down. Welcome to Types of People on vacation. Number one, the invincible vacationer. Right now, the weather here is horrible. It is windy and rainy and cold and not ideal. Like straight up, the white walkers are on their way. But regardless of this fact, when I walk around the resort, I see mad people up in their bikinis lying down on these beach chairs. Like bruh. And you, my friend, are in severe mother effing denial, okay? I know we all paid a lot of money to be here and we expected it to be hot and nice, you know, like our old Windows XP wallpaper, but we need to come to terms with the fact that that's not the case. These are the people that didn't think for a second it would be cold, so they didn't pack a single sweater and they didn't pack a single pair of full-length pants. And now they up on this resort fronting. I was just fronting. Because you're lying if you say you're not cold. You got mad goosebumps. Look at your arm. Your arm looks like effing braille, okay? If a blind person was here right now, they would touch your arm and think it's a novel. So just calm down with your Olaf looking self. <laughs> it is... It is cloudy as hell right now. But I walked around and I saw some people putting on tanning lotion. Tanning, there's no sun. You have a better chance of being tanned from your iPhone screen while taking a selfie than the sun right now. Because Mr. Sun don't care about you, okay? Mr. Sun has changed. Mr. Sun is wearing less and going out more, okay? Mr. Sun needs to just be himself. Right now he's someone else, okay? He used to call you on your cell phone. No, but for real, I appreciate your commitment though because it's thunderstorming and you're by the beach being like, nah, nah, okay? I used up all my vacation days for this, okay? So I'm gonna just sit here and you're like shivering, sipping a martini. Well, the good news is if we need to cut glass, we'll just use your nipples. Stop being crazy. Go inside and play some Yahtzee. Number two, the spring breakers. Spring break forever. These people are always Turn. There was one guy I met on vacation last year and every single time I saw him, he was drunk, okay? And I saw him like seven times on a one week vacation. He was never sober. When I say drunk, I don't just mean like drunk. I mean he was shamangled, like drunk, like falling down blackout drunk. On one day, my friends and I helped him get into a taxi. On the next day, we helped him walk to his room. On the third day, we convinced him not to climb the side of a building. Like where are your friends? And how is your liver? Because straight up, I want to send your liver like an edible arrangement. Okay, your liver deserves a mother effing e greeting. <laughs> is it just me or am I like extra funny today? Or is it just the cosmos? I don't know, either way. Killing it! These people are usually partying hard, shirtless, hat backwards, and yelling spring break forever! And I'm like, bro, it's January. This, this is a family resort. Like, sort your life out. Number three, the beach bomb. This is the girl who looks sexy as hell for the entire vacation, and this girl is not me. My idea of vacation is sleeping in, missing breakfast, eating fries all day long, wearing my sweatpants, not shaving, being as lazy and ugly as possible on the beach all day long. But this girl now, nah, this girl got seven cute outfits pre-planned on point. Her legs are shaved, her ears are waxed, her eyelashes are curled, her eyeliner is on fleek. And she clearly did a lot of squats preparing for this vacation because her butt looked like it ate my butt. Her butt looks like the picture of my butt would post on Instagram with the hashtag goals. Her butt's so nice that she probably straight up didn't even have to buy a bikini bottom, okay? The bikini bottom just probably bought a lottery ticket and won. She got that type of booty so nice that she probably don't even fart. Cause let's be real, booties that are nice, like you know those booties don't fart. Like yesterday while clubbing, me and my friend decided like, there's no way Beyonce farts. It's just the second, like, that's cat, like can you imagine Beyonce farting? Beyonce, Beyonce doesn't fart, Beyonce doesn't poop. That is just science. Me, the only time I do squats is if I drop a fry, because let's be real, I'ma still eat that fry. Hello, 
five second rule. I respect this girl and I admire this girl because I could never be this girl. My nails are not dead. My legs are not shaved. In fact, the one day that I do have to wear a dress here, I'm gonna shave three quarters of my legs. So it's gonna be like hardwood floor and the rest is gonna be area rug. And you know what, I'm okay with that. It's vacation. If I wanna have one eyebrow, that's how it's gonna be. Number four, Insta tanners. Can we be real for a second? Let's talk, can we be honest, have a real moment? How many of you walk into nice places and your brain instantly starts looking out for all the Instagram opportunities? Raise your hand. Broop, broop. I'm super guilty of this and I'ma just be real with you, okay? People go on vacation for two reasons. 60% to take selfies, 40% to eat food. That's just what it is. And you know I gotta get all those typical beach pictures, you know, your legs and then the water off in the distance, your feet in the sand, holding the drink up in the air, the view from the room except ours is of a building. Is that a jail? And is it just me? This is so ridiculous. But when I take pictures on the beach, I like it to seem like I'm the only person on the beach. Although I know that makes no sense. There's clearly hundreds of people on this resort. But when my friend takes a picture of me, I need them to wait so that no one is walking in the background. And I don't know who is more annoying, me or the people walking in the background. Like, bruh, can you not see I'm trying to take a picture over here two kilometers away from you? Why are you all up in the background ruining my ish? What are you, what are you even doing? Teaching your kid how to swim? Stop that, that's not cute, okay? You're ruining my private beach illusion right now. And you know that I don't got the capabilities or patience to Photoshop you out. So you just need to crop yourself out in real life. This my beach, said every rapper. Number five, the old fab couple. Every resort has at least one couple that is just effing fabulous. I'm talking like in their 70s or 80s and they're dressed well, they're so in love, they dance amazing and they're having more fun than everybody else. Just like salsa, tango, looking good. They are goals. Cause teenagers be like, oh my God, today we went like to a boat party and we're like totally jet skied and like I couldn't even get any Snapchat footage, I'm so annoyed. This older couple is like, today we took a walk and sent a text message, it was a great day. And I'm real with you, like seeing this couple really melts my heart because I know I will never have the patience to grow old with someone. <laughs> I don't even have the patience to wait those five seconds to skip a YouTube ad. You know when it's like, can skip in five, four. As soon as it says that, I'm like click, click, click. Just hoping that there'll be some sort of glitch and I'll click, 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 click. Having said that, you should never do that on my videos. <sighs> Hola! Number six, the horn dogs. Now these are the people that go on vacation to make out, to get laid, to get wild, to hook up, to get frisky. And they usually go home with souvenirs like t-shirts, shot glasses, and herpes. Yesterday we went to a club in Cancun and it was just so amusing watching all the people hook up. And I have a very strict no judgment rule. Like, you do you, do what makes you happy, I ain't here to judge you. But it was just so amusing to see two complete strangers making out for the first time. Because it's like watching a history major go to class, okay? There's no chemistry. I saw this one dude making out with a girl and I'm like, are you making out with her or trying to fold her into an origami swan? She don't bend that way. And then I saw this other pair making out and it was just so robotic. The guy was like. It was like watching two robots making out. I swear it was like watching Rubik's cubes making out with each other. I swear to God I saw some motor oil spill. <laughs> Nothing says vacation like making out with a complete stranger and hoping they don't have a history of cold sores. Hola. Hola! Yo, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up because yo, I'm on vacation and I still wanted to give you a video because I love you oh so, oh so much. If you want to check out my last video, it is right there. It is my parents reacting to Justin Bieber's What Do You Mean? My vlogs are right there if you want to follow along on my trip to Mexico. And yo, make sure you subscribe because I make new videos every Monday and Thursday and I'd love for you to be here. One love, superwoman. That is a wrap and hello.